Listen, if your name ends with a A, ah, Ben Night Rover. Should I move here? <laughs> I am going to St. Thomas Carnival for the first time ever in life. And first time in the U.S. Virgin Islands, period. Quick update. Uh, we had to deplane to get on another plane because the maintenance on the plane wouldn't let us fly. So hoping we get there on time. So we arrived in St. Thomas a little after schedule, but still in good timing. After I got my bags, I was picked up by tourism and we checked into our rooms at the Pink Palm, which is this beautiful boutique hotel that literally has the best views of St. Thomas and Charlotte Amelie. And you can basically see all the boats and the little harbor and everything. It was so picturesque. I had this really, really nice room. And I honestly did not want to leave. Um, I actually posted about this hotel on my YouTube shorts. So I'll tag the video on here if you guys want to check it out. But this was insane. I was just in love with this room and this bathroom and just everything. This is insane, okay? I cannot believe I'm here, honestly. The the plane ride was a little rocky. We had to get off the first flight, then go to another gate, thankfully. And then we must see was on the ground for like an hour, hour and a half, but we finally got here. The ride from Miami to St. Thomas is like two hours and 15 minutes, give or take. But Landon is so beautiful. Unfortunately, I didn't have a window seat, so I couldn't record it. But y'all, this place is just unbelievably beautiful. It, it looks like a painting. That's how nice it is. I can't believe I've never been to St. Thomas before. Now, but I'm really excited. We're about to go pick up our costumes, so that should be fun. I do a little bit of a costume reveal, and yeah. Just FYI, this is a press trip. On behalf of US, USVI Tourism, I am really excited to be. I'm so happy to be here, y'all. Comment down below if you've been to St. Thomas Carnival before or you're thinking about going. Then it was time to go directly to the troops camp. We were playing an Ultimate Legacy troop and they've been around for around for like two years. So they're a smaller troop in St. Thomas, USBI. Welcome to the Legacy. So, so you can wear this bag. Yep. <laughs> you gotta wear this. I'm prepared. Yeah, she's the uh -huh. bitch. We got this. You can get your drinks and your food for okay. us. Mm -hmm. This oh. is your 2023 okay, Ultimate I'm Legacy British souvenir t shirt. Mm -hmm. And the moment that you have been waiting for, do okay. this entire checklist with you. You're going to sign your name. And let's go. Beautiful. Yes, oh, so <laughs> here is your member's guide. You're going to read it to make sure you have all the information that you need, where to find us, mm -hmm. information about the bar, our cafe, yeah, okay. and then on the road amenities. All right? Okay. Yeah, so no, really really you really know, right? Your cup for yeah. the road. Mm -hmm. Sponsored by Tito's. Hey. Yeah, so <laughs> make sure this is the cup that matters. You have a bag with a lot of stuff in it. Mm -hmm. So the cup matters, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can make peace. Um, and then you have a large backpack hanging up there mm -hmm. and down below on that floor. Okay. Then afterwards, we had to go outside real quick and learn this choreography. This is the first time I've ever had to learn choreography for a troupe. So I was really, really excited. I've only had similar experience with Junkanoo where Junkanoo has like choreographed dances. But in St. Thomas, they do this with all the bands, which I was really excited about. When the music changes, you will hear it. It will be easy to identify. The next step is one, two, three, kick, one, two, three, kick. And you, this is what's moving us into the square. Yep. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, you just move it. You keep doing it. Keep doing it. So, currently, getting ready 
to Rafa Dina and then go to my first village nights in St. Thomas. And it's very exciting. <laughs> we got our costumes from Ultimate Legacy. They were so accommodating, y'all. I tried it, semi tried it on over my clothes in the band um, house. I think I'm gonna try it on again, maybe tomorrow. And then we had even a little choreography session. I don't know what it is, but I really like getting engulfed in people's culture, man, because I feel like that's the point. Like, why do we have all these carnivals if they all look the same? St. Thomas Carnival already looking really different. And I just love that because it's just such a brand new experience that I haven't had before. So I've been to a lot of carnivals, but this one is definitely different. And I even heard that they don't play a lot of mainstream soca, they play VI. They play small island music, which I am looking forward to. This is what I'm wearing, sandals and this dress. That's a little back, backless action. Super cute. Um, yeah, let's go at Riley. Going to village nights. Our first night, Sofrito. Sofrito. Asamba is supposed to be performing, so we can see. So free tonight, but we went to this restaurant called Oceana and the food was really good. Fresh, fresh seafood. The best meal I've had in like months, I want to say. I'll show you my outfit because I don't think I got any outfit photos. Tomorrow morning is Juve morning. It's so pretty here. So I was literally the only one ready for Juve <laughs> around that time. So I went back to my room while everybody got ready and decided to do a little unboxing video. I use this Ulanzi tripod now that everybody been posted on TikTok and Instagram Reels. And I love it. It, it holds both my camera and my iPhone with no issues. I literally just threw my old um, tripod away, so yeah. These are my wings, and this costume was designed by Jam Designs Concepts, and he basically showed me how to put it together, so it's like three pieces to this. It's Gila Lionfish. It's so purdy. Super purdy. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait. To show you all the full thing. Thomas Juve is the fact that they play a lot of different music. Small Island, Antigua, St. Kitts, Dominica, 
VI Barbados, Trinidad, Depe, Trini Soca, Grenada Soca, everything. Like literally, I you know, you don't get bored. And then you get the band music on the trucks and stuff like that too. Only thing was when we got out there, there wasn't really no paint and powder going and the sun was already up. And I was like, where's the paint and powder? They did have a big water truck, but we kind of skipped around it. But I mean, it was still good vibes because the music was really good. Drinks was flowing, them bartenders hands so heavy because I asked for Cruzan and Coke. And the girl had me back the cup and it really tasted like gasoline. I ain't gonna lie, but I mean, I drank it anyway. I feel okay. I feel fine. <laughs> like, you know, guys were trying to dance and, they, you know, they wasn't too pushy and stuff like that. And, I, you know, we'd dance for like five seconds and they gone. And that was it. Sun hot though. So definitely wear your sunscreen. I'm still waiting to see what, you know, like the parade is like and stuff like that. And fets, because we haven't gone to any fets. We went to village nights last night. And they have a really, really diverse population here. Should I move here? <laughs> oh, I don't know if y'all can see outside, but look how pretty that is, man. It's, I just can't get over this view. It's just insane. Like, Anyways. After dinner, we headed back to the carnival grounds for village nights. And this night was actually local ruction with the majority of acts from the VI. And it, the the list or the roster was jam-packed. I feel like every performance was good. And this is some of the this is the first time I'm even actually hearing about some of these artists, which is crazy because they had the crowd moving. Also, fun fact, their carnival grounds is an actual carnival. And what I really liked about it was the fact that you could bring your whole family here. I mean, clearly you could bring your whole family to a concert, but they're like actual rides like a Ferris wheel and little roller coasters, cotton candy and stuff like that. So they really make this like a family affair. You know what I mean? I can't even remember what we left off. We were supposed to do a boat day today, but something happened with the boat. Um, and then we were supposed to do like a pool day, but I think everybody was so tired that everybody just fell asleep. And then we went to dinner at this place called 13 Restaurant. Um, I had the salad and the dip with crostinis. And yeah, um, it was good. Um, it was really good actually. The salad was really good. I wish I could have finished it, but I was full. I was really full. We had shots, couldn't finish a shot. It was just a, a bad, down bad night. Then after we went to Village Nights and saw like, basically it was the local edition um, theme for the night with a lot of the VI artists like Adam O and Carnage. And um, my favorite was Pumpa. Pumpa, I saw you all say it. <laughs> He had so much energy and never seen somebody perform like that before. So yeah, for sure. I love his song, A-List. It is Friday, Friday morning, and we're getting ready to go to this breakfast party called Bud Bread and Butter Jam Fet. It's such a unique name. <laughs> About to leave out. Let me just show you all this view one more time because I still ain't over. <laughs> It's so pretty hair dread. Like, I just, I am not over it. It does not escape me. <laughs> Let's go to this breakfast vet and I'll take her with me. Hot, 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 hot,
Some people over here, some people over here, them in the back, some people over there, some people down in the back. You know what? Before I start, let me bust the gate, start the segregation thing, bust the gate. Where Romeo? Romeo? Are you bust the gate? Let the people who come forward. Bust the gate. Bust the gate for the people in. Yeah, I open up, come in, vibes up yourself, vibes up all yourself. Romeo, Emmet, are you bust the gate? Bust the gate, Emmet, are you bust the gate? Let the people have come in. I got it inside here, space out, space out. These people over here, over here. Run, she got the juice for me, man. Let the people have nice up themselves inside here. So after the party, we actually went to go get something to eat and then it was time to just walk back to the hotel, which is pretty close to downtown area. We caught a little bit of this parade with the girls on, on the cars. It was so cute. So we went to that breakfast fat party and it was interesting. It was hot. It was hot as I don't know what, like it was crazy hot. The music is really good. Pum pum pa. He performed. I got a little cameo with him. We left. We got some food from. We did get food at the Fed. It was just soup and bread and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, we went to this place called Gladys House, I believe, and got like they have Caribbean food, this, that, and the third, and stuff like that. So that was pretty good. I got the conch chowder. Yeah, that was it. I'm about to eat something else right now, just because I'm really hungry. Ping pong stuff. I have like these grab and go um, items and I got like hot sauce and some ranch to mix it with because it's hot. Currently, if you want to look outside, it's raining. Like drip drop. But these people still go on, you get it up. The Big Kitty's parade is today as well, but we missed that part. It was fine because man, I like I tired. Later on, we supposed to go to another day party, <laughs> and then um, dinner, and then village nights again. So excited! There's a lot to do in St. Thomas for around Carnival time, and it's just a lot of variations. So it's like you can pick and choose what you want to do. I am dressed, very simple, cute, comfortable. Hopefully it don't rain. One, two, three, Good morning. It's basically carnival day. Carnival day, I woke up feeling refreshed. We didn't go to the reggae nights. We stopped by for a little bit, but then we left because I think everybody was just excited to have a night to sleep in on Carnival Day, which is, yeah, definitely, definitely needed at this tender age. But now I am filming transitions, costume transitions. So I have a couple of ideas. I just did one, well, not a transition, but a TikTok video. And now I'm getting ready to do another one. I just wanted to show you all the process. 
this is my setup i'm actually going to use this camera because it's easier but yeah so typically i just position my little tripod where i need it to be and then i'm going to find a little spot over here somewhere to um just put like my markers right so yeah or i just try to remember where i um started and stopped but I have these sugar packets in my hand. I have two of them and wherever my toes are at, I'm going to mark that spot, do the beginning part, put the sugar down, go get ready. And then, yeah. So I got ready. I actually did my own makeup, which would save me a lot of time. I won't lie. I might be doing this from now on. Um, but this is just me playing around before I film the second part of the transition. And what I'll do is I'll just show y'all real quick what the transition looked like. I feel I must have did like three and only one works. So it's like uh, when I say content creation is a lot of trial and error, it really and truly is. So you got to have like a lot of ideas, especially if you just really want a good seamless video, you know. Also, can you believe this costume? Like, look at the details and the wings. I actually didn't bring this backpack back and I am regretting it so much right now. Oh my God. Listen, if your name ends with a A, ah, Ben right over. This is probably one of my favorite costumes ever in life. I really want to take this home, but I know I can't. Um, but it's so beautiful on. It took me, I want to say, like an hour and a half to really get ready so i'm glad we had time before leaving i'm gonna see if i can go take some video and pictures outside and yeah so after all the pictures you if y'all follow me on instagram you've probably seen it already but yeah we made it to the road around i want to say in the afternoon like one two ish and we had to wait a little bit because the band wasn't there yet they had like a flat tire or something like that but then they showed up and then it was time to play time this is the most i danced in a long long time y'all i really enjoy their music and now we just was heading to village nights the last night which is basically like the main more mainstream soca acts like bungee garland fan lions and all of that stuff but i really really enjoyed the road experience even though it was kind of short because you know things happen but I definitely would go back to St. Thomas for, for a carnival, like no questions asked. Like if somebody say, hey, let's go, I go in.
then after the road sunday was a cool down at megan's bay and i'd never been here but it's beautiful beach and i see why people go here a lot just got delivered to my door so cute <laughs> let's see what's in here oh that smells good too bad i don't drink coffee but look how cute this is there's yogurt some like little danish thingies or cupcakes fruit coffee Forks and knives, oh my God. And this is our last day in USBI. I had some breakfast before I headed to the airport, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this vlog and if you would ever go to St. Thomas for Carnival or if you've been before. Thanks for watching.